Today we're going to be learning parallel lines and perpendicular lines. The difference between the two. So as you look here on your page, you can see that they're going to give you some guidance here in a table. You can find models of lines in the world around you. For example, two streets that cross each other, model intersecting lines. Metal rails on a train track that never cross would model parallel lines. So basically what it's telling you is this is not the only time you are doing parallel lines and intersecting lines. You will see them in your life at times. So let's take a look here at the table. We have the terms and definitions in one box. We have how to draw it in another one. We have how to read them and also how to write them. Okay. We've had to pay close attention to the writing in the past. We think it's important today as well. Yes, it sure is. So the intersecting lines, read with me please, are lines in the plane that cross at exactly one point. Intersecting lines form four angles. So take a look at what they drew. See how it is crossing exactly right here at X. See it? Okay. So what they're talking about here is it's going to form your four angles. Can you find those four angles? is here, another one is here, and then you have one here, one here. See all of them? So intersecting lines will cross at exactly one point and have four different angles. Now, if we were reading this, we would say that line HI, so from here to here, intersects with line JK at point X because it intersects right here in the middle. Does everybody understand that? Let's read what it says again, please. Line HI intersects line JK at point X. Lots of vocabulary here for you, okay? Now, if I was to write that like a mathematician would, this is how you're going to write it. What do you notice on the top of HI and JK? And then they have the lines with what? Arrows. Because if you remember back, when we write lines, we have to have the arrows on top. So that's not different. So this is the same thing. Line HI and line JK intersect at point X. So it's said the same way. It's just written differently. So this is what I'm going to be looking for if it asks me to write out what's going on. Everybody do that? All right, so that's intersecting lines. Let's read the next one. Parallel lines are lines in a plane that are always the same distance apart. Parallel lines never intersect. A couple of words in here. Always the same distance apart and never intersect. Okay, take a look at the drawing. You see the difference between these and intersecting lines. Big difference, huh? Okay, this is how we would read it. Line DE is parallel to line FG. It's not hard, right? Look at how they write it. Yeah, line DE, this is the is parallel symbol to line FG. Do you see where they're getting the two lines that are going up and down? Now, if I wrote them the other way, which is the way the lines are going, what would it look like? An equal sign. So do you see why they put them up and down like this? Because we don't want it to look like an equal sign, we want it to be a parallel sign. So you have D or line DE is parallel. So this little symbol right here means parallel. Okay? To FG. Are you okay with that? You're going to be able to remember that if you have to draw it or write it. Okay? And let's do the last set of lines. Perpendicular lines are lines in a plane that intersect to form four right angles. This one up here formed four angles, but were they all right angles? No, not this top one, but the one we're getting ready to do are all going to be right angles. So take a look at the difference between this one and this one. They're intersecting, right? Still at a point, but this one's intersecting to where we have four right angles. This one did not have four right angles. Okay, that's the big difference. So, this is going to be said, 
line LM is perpendicular to line NO. Okay, instead of using any, anything with intersecting, we know it's intersecting, but it is intersecting to where it becomes a perpendicular line. Does everybody understand the difference between the two? So if anything crosses anywhere, you can't see that because it's not the right color, you could intersect. If I was drawing lines, you could intersect. You could draw them here, it could intersect like this, okay? But in order to be perpendicular, it has to have those right angles, okay? That makes sense. All right, so look at how they drew this one. Line LM is perpendicular to line NO. Do you see that little symbol? It's like an upside down T. Okay, you're going to have to draw these and know what they mean, so make sure you're paying attention to that. Let's say this one again, please. Line LM is perpendicular to line NO. All right? So lots of things to think about. This section right here is usually the most helpful because this is how you're going to write it. And you're going to have to read what that is also. Okay? Typically, do they write it out like these? No, they usually write them like this box over here. Okay? All right, let's try some of these. Tell how the streets appear to be related. So we're going to look at the streets over here on the right. We're going to write whether they are perpendicular, parallel, or intersecting. And again, they're right here. You also have them on your foldable, which you made on Friday. So if this page is turned in and you don't have it, where do you need to look? In your foldable. Same kinds of things. This exact chart is in there. All right, so let's look at West 36th Street. So find that first, please. Point to it on your paper. And then find Broadway. Everybody there? So if I'm going down West 36th Street, I'd be going like this, right? Okay. Then I'm going to go down Broadway, which means I'm going to go this way. Yes. So what kind of lines are those? Intersecting. So you have intersecting lines. You're going to get a lot of practice in spelling intersecting, parallel, and perpendicular today, as well as drawing some of those lines. Okay, now let's take a look at the next one. I'm going to erase these so that you can see exactly which one we're looking at. What's the next street we're looking at? West 35th Street, so that goes here. And 7th Avenue goes here. What are we looking at there? Do we have some that have right angles here? No. They don't? Okay, guys, what I want you to understand is that your perpendicular lines do not have to go up and down and straight across. They can be that way even at an angle. So if I put my piece of paper there like we talked about the last couple of times or about two days ago when we did our 90 degree angles, could I put a piece of paper there and it said exactly on that? Yeah, so what kind of lines do I have here? But what did we talk about is also with perpendicular. You also have intersecting. These are intersecting, right? But they are also perpendicular. So you have to write both. So you're going to write intersecting. Just put a comma. And then you will also write perpendicular. So. Anything that is perpendicular is also intersecting, but it cannot go the other way. I can't say all intersecting lines are perpendicular because that is not true, but all perpendicular lines are intersecting. See how it's working? Do you have a question? Are there two O's on parallel? It looks like two parallel And that's why they have that as a symbol. is. All right, look at the list. The last one here. What street are we using? 37 and that's 36. What do we notice about them? They are parallel. They're the same distance apart and they will never intersect.
get your math talk question down there. Make you think back a little bit and review what we've talked about the last couple days. Can two rays be parallel? If I drew two rays, could they be parallel to each other? Yeah, they sure can. We know a ray is a part of a line, so if the line and the rays are part of parallel, then the rays are going to be parallel. So if you drew two like this, are they parallel? Yeah. I could even draw them going this way. Are they parallel? Okay, questions about intersecting parallel or perpendicular? Alright, remember to go back if you don't remember how to draw it or how to read it. Go on to the next page. Alright, your activity says to draw and label. How are we going to read this? Line YX perpendicular to line YZ. Intersecting at point Y. That's a lot of stuff. There's two Ys. Okay, so lots of things going on. Yeah, there are two Ys. That's another thing they probably could have done for you. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is to draw and label the Y X, or the line Y X. Then we're going to draw and label the line Y Z. Yes. Okay, they did this first portion for you, so we're going to go ahead and trace what we see. And we're going to label it with the first one, which was YX. So don't forget to put a point here. They don't have that. You need to add that. Remember, we do not label the arrows. The arrows mean it's going to continue to go on, so we do not label it. We are going to put another point to label X. Okay, now if we want it to be perpendicular, intersecting at point Y, where am I drawing my other line? Raise your hand if you think you know where we're going to draw this next line. What does perpendicular mean to us? Ian. To the middle of what? So tell me where you want me to draw. If I am intersecting at point Y, what do I have to know about point Y? Does my line have to touch point Y that I'm getting ready to draw? If it is intersecting at point Y, does it have to touch point Y? Absolutely. So where am I going to go from there, Ian? If it intersects right here, where am I going to draw my other line to? Am I just going to draw it out here wherever I want to? Because it says it is perpendicular. So what does that mean to us? Fourth grade, go back and look. What does it mean to be perpendicular? For right angles. So that means that wherever I draw this, I have to have right angles. Yes. So if I go straight up from here, no, I'm going to show you that your lines can still continue to go right down here. Even though they're stopping like this, you can still have a line that is going to continue to go this way and a line that is still going to continue to go this way because you drew them as what? Lines. And what do we know about lines? They continue in both directions. Are you with me? So you're going to draw me your little um, line from Y up. What are we labeling up top? The Z. Now some of you are going, yeah, but that's just an angle. Well, it can be a perpendicular line if you continue to go with all of the things. Now, most of the time when you think of perpendicular, you think of this. Yes? It doesn't have to be that. It could have stopped right here like we just did and drawn this one and this one. Okay? Because what did we talk about with lines? They continue to go either direction. Okay? So don't get confused if you see one like this and you tell me, well, it's not perpendicular. Yeah, it is. What kind of 